parts of a true fruit. Observe carefully the internal structure of a true fruit of mango. A typical true fruit consists of a fruit wall developed from the ovary. The fruit wall is called the pericarp. It is composed of three layers. Epicarp, the outermost layer. Mesocarp, the middle layer. And endocarp, the innermost layer. Seeds develop from the ovule. Fruit, a ripened ovary. A fruit is a ripened ovary and is classified into true fruit and false fruit. Each of these is further divided as shown in the flowchart. True and false fruits. If the fruit directly develops from the ovary, such a fruit is called as a true fruit. If some other floral parts participate in the formation of fruits, such fruits are known as false fruits. A typical example of a true fruit is mango, and that of a false fruit is apple. In an apple, the thalamus is modified to form a fruit. Classification of fruits. Observe the classification of fruits as shown here. Mechanism of fruit and seed dispersal. There are several agents that bring about dispersal of seeds and fruits. Air, water, animals, birds and even self-explosive mechanisms help in the dispersal of seeds and fruits. Dispersal by wind. Devices such as wings, hair, pappus and feathery styles make the seed or fruit easily wind-borne. Dispersal by water. Seeds and fruits develop floating devices like spongy or fibrous outer coats. Dispersal by explosive mechanisms. Seeds are provided with walls or jaculators, curved hooks, which help to scatter seeds with a jerk. Dispersal by animals. Seeds and fruits possess hooks, barbs, spines or bristles by which they adhere to the bodies of animals. Seed and fruit dispersal by wind. Certain seeds and fruits are adapted for dispersal by wind. Flat membranous wings are developed from the pericarp of fruits. Some seeds are small and light and are blown around like dust particles. In parachute mechanism, the persistent hairy sepals, called pappus, open out like an umbrella and it helps in being carried away by the wind. Some seeds have tufts of hair. Persistent, hairy or feathery styles on some fruits help them to get carried away by the wind. In the sensor mechanism, the capsule opens at the apex through minute pores. On swaying, the seeds escape out of the pores. Seed and fruit dispersal through water. Observe carefully the different adaptations of seed and fruit dispersal by water. The seeds and fruits of the plants which grow on the water bodies fall into the water and are transported. Such seeds or fruits have spongy coats. Seed and fruit dispersal by animals. Observe carefully the different adaptations of seeds and fruits dispersed by animals. Seeds of fruits eaten by animals and human beings are thrown or discarded as the unedible part of fruit. Nuts stored by animals are sometimes forgotten and germinate under favorable conditions. 
hooked spines develop on fruits which adhere to the fur of animals. Hooked spines develop on seeds which adhere to the fur of animals. Fruits have sticky glands to the hoofs of grazing animals. Dispersal by explosive mechanism. Observe carefully the adaptation of seed and fruit dispersal by explosive mechanism. High osmotic pressure causes explosion of fruits. In capsules, the seeds are supported by a hook like structure called jaculator, which straightens, causing the fruit to burst open.